welcome to this vlog. I hope you're well. <laughs> so today is a continuation of like these vlogs that I've been doing. I know I will like put them like a week apart, but today is the 1st of August. So I'm just continuing off from yesterday's vlog, even though today is a new video. So today I am doing a grocery haul. One of my friends, again, Susan. <laughs> Susan like just stays giving me content ideas. I appreciate her. She asked me to do a grocery haul and just challenge myself to uh, try and pick Zambian brands. Like, I really thought about it. I was like, you know what? I, I would try and do, like, a full Zambian brand grocery haul. But I know myself. Like, I was looking at my budget and, like, the, my list, my grocery list. And there's some things where I'm just like, mm -mm. Like, I'll wait for my country men and women to come up with, like, you know, like, like a good alternative. But I'm currently at... Um, waterfalls more in Lusaka so for people who are watching I'm Zambian and I live in Chongwe but I like to do my grocery shopping from ShopRite in Lusaka so I know like there's a phase where like first of all like we, we've been living in like the dark ages for a good three and a half years because our economy has been in shambles and I went from some like actually a laugh there was a point in my life when I got my groceries from pick and pay like exclusively because I thought ShopRite was too crowded. And I claimed like Pick and Pray had good brands and a good variety of stuff. That ended, I think, in 2019. Either 2019, 2020, I, I began shopping, buying stuff from ShopRite. And there was actually a, like, there was actually a difference. Like overall, when all those extra quachas here and there add up with, with, with everything, there was a difference like in how much I was spending. Like So I was making a bit of a saving, but still like the economy just kept going, you know, like down and down and down. And I know people even stop buying from ShopRite. Like, people go to Jumbo or wholesales and whatnot. But I'm just like, that's, that's too much admin. Maybe I will get to that point where I'm taking myself to Jumbo. So Jumbo, for people who don't know Zambia, it's like this. It's like a warehouse type of scenario. It's not like a department store like ShopRite. If that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention, just, you know, like, just give, like, some tips for anybody who doesn't already know this. I know there's people who are like me who know this and they live by it. But always budget, like if you're struggling, especially like, like again, with our economy, like if the money that you had before isn't making sense, like things just keep going up with inflation, please have a budget. So I have this like Excel sheet that I use where um, I slot in my income. So my salary, I have a tenant with like with a home. So I, I get some rental income. And just anything else that I may I may be expecting in terms of income, I slot it in. And then I have my expenses. So, like, I just put that total for my income. And then, like, I have a formula where it subtracts whatever expenses I might have. And then it's like a rolling thing. So, like, it's, it's, it's something that I update on a daily basis. So, my fixed costs are stuff like rent, utilities, fuel, gas, um like paying for cable, Netflix, like if you pay for Netflix, if you pay for yeah, like DSTV, um, Spotify, like something as small as Spotify, like literally quantify everything. And then I have variable costs, which like groceries have become variable costs. Like there's a point where like, I'll just say, I'm only going to spend 1,000. It became one five, but now I can't even, so like I'll make a budget and then based off of like the previous month's prices. And then, yeah. It will give me like a guide as to what to expect, but sometimes stuff is like more expensive, even like the like the, even just like the, like in the next period of the next month. So I put like a slot for groceries, and then I have like a separate side on my Excel sheet where now I put everything I'm buying, like literally into like teal bags or something, like the smallest amounts. Everything is keyed in, and then on a daily basis, like like I just have like my own daily thing, and then like I add it up. Hopefully this makes like if you want a if if, if you care. And you want a more detailed explanation of this, let me know. But it's really, really helped me out because if you like if you aren't like scrutinizing every single ingwe, so ingwe is like like our version of like a penny or, or, or pennies. Like if you aren't accounting for everything, like trust me, you'll find yourself hitting BP all the time. Because you're wondering where your money is going, how much do you have left? What do you have left for emergencies? Just stuff like that. Like always have something. So if you didn't watch my previous vlog, like I had some car trouble. And I had to look at my Excel sheet and whatever wiggle room I had left with like some excess at least has given me a bit of breathing space with what my mechanic has charged me. Even though like the car, I thought the car was fixed. I actually drove 
a certain distance but then like yeah like there was still something wrong so like I, I just took it back to my parents house and i borrowed like my mom's car so it can really be looked at so like i'm leaving it in osaka but the point is if i didn't have that excel sheet i'll just be going around really nearly buying groceries doing a whole bunch of stuff and then like my money would finish and i wouldn't even know you know <laughs> what i have left so everything has to be taken into account so i just thought i should give that preview okay this is going to be a long video this is, this is five and a half minutes and i haven't even begun to shop so anyways let me buy stuff head home and then we'll do like a proper haul yeah yeah this is waterfalls mall and where i am headed to get groceries with shop right This is the whole, yeah, there's food stuff and like toiletries and stuff and the rest and then we can <laughs> break it down. Oh my god. Um, I've just looked back at my footage, you guys, like the angle is off, like it's so off. I'm so sorry, but I hope it's still watchable for some of you guys. Um, like like I said, like my like my real camera broke okay i think i'll mention it at some point during this video my like my sony camera that i use broke and with this one like i'm using my phone like i'm just using my phone and like the selfie camera like inverts stuff so you can't see like writing and fonts like i didn't want to like do the whole inverted thing so i wanted to use my the main camera on my phone like i set up my tripod but because like i'm alone like i just did like a test thing to see if my table was visible Oh my days <laughs> like like a lot of the stuff is cut up at the at, at the top but i eventually placed the item on the table so you're able to see the label so i hope you understand i'm really really sorry like i thought of refilming the whole thing but like i've honestly been sat here for like an hour and a half already and yeah like i can't do it again <laughs> i'm so sorry but i hope yeah for those who will still bother to watch i truly appreciate you for like giving a heck about it but yeah hope you enjoy it i just thought i should give like a disclaimer i'm really sorry if you see me like placing a thing up and it's cut off like i eventually place it on the table and you can see the label properly and i also try and put just like 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 i'll try and list the labels on the screen in case like you didn't catch it but yeah i'm sorry and the video will continue now I don't want you making noise. Alrighty, so <laughs> my filming camera broke and I'm using my phone. I, I can't use the selfie mode because it inverts, it, it's, it's an inverted image and I'll be showing you stuff in print that you may not be able to read. So like I'm just hoping and praying that it's filming right now. So I'm just looking directly into like my phone's lens. Hopefully <laughs> things are working out so for starters i usually get stuff like bread and perishables once a week it's just that i was in shop right so i got like one loaf of brown and one loaf of white and then for stuff like greens fruits i do a market run within chongwe so even even just with bread like in the weeks to come i, I either buy bread from like choppies or like just any like local store if that makes sense so let me i think let me start with like the clean stuff it's what's closer to me so for fabric softener i have this and <laughs> so you guys like boom is like the only zambian brand that i was seeing predominantly i prefer handy andy like i'm more of a handy andy handy andy stan type of person but yeah i usually just get one and it lasts me like a whole month 
and then I get Papik and Domestos. So these two aren't, yeah, this is probably like a Unilever brand or something. But yeah, I get, I use Domestos and I use Papik as well for my lavatory cleaner and like just surfaces and stuff. I have bin liners for my bin. Oh, this is Zambian. There we go. So for people who aren't who like aren't Zambian, like boom, Trade Kings rather. Trade Kings is a Zambian brand, <laughs> but I don't think you care. Like if you aren't Zambian, then you just don't care. So I usually just top up from what I have. So like I'm very particular, like I said, with my budget, and I don't do that thing where I just walk in with a trolley and throw stuff in. Like one of those days, like I go with with specific things that I want down to the quantities. <laughs> so. I already had I think one more left so I usually get three of these of the Domestos and I and, and three of the Harpic but I have like one Harpic in, yeah, like in stock so I either yeah anyway that's that so I have two bathrooms or toilets or loose so yeah that pretty much suffices for that then I live alone and two kgs of washing powder works so i have a housekeeper who does my laundry if anyone from the west is wondering why i have a maid or a housekeeper like please like most africans and most asians as well have full-on maids like it's not that expensive to employ a housekeeper <laughs> okay the like yeah like the cost of labor here is quite cheap so don't judge me or anything um I also have so there we go boom like I said like boom was the predominant one so boom this yeah so this is just like see <laughs> you know how like we like for okay I, I don't know about other African countries but for Zambia like toothpaste for the longest time was Colgate even just with um what's this it's a it's a scarring cleanser when I, okay growing up it was just Ajax like everything is Ajax like even though this is boom force scarring cleaner to me like it's ajax so this is my ajax zambian brand there we go then boom again <laughs> this is yeah like just some dishwashing liquid so i used to get sunlight but then boom have me in a chokehold because every time you buy dishwashing liquid it comes with a free sponge so i don't have to buy like an extra sponge so i love that so i use this and just like a scarring pad from like the shop right no brand yeah, for the shop I found it one. Mm. Then I also have some toilet paper or tissue, a four pack. Then I have some bio block, just yeah, for like my bathroom or my hallway, and some toothpaste. So here's my Colgate. Yes, I like the triple action. There's is there any Zambian brand that does toothpaste? I don't think so, but yeah, like I'm just used to Colgate. I'm not too picky, like I don't pick like, oh, like for sensitive teeth and whatnot. I, yeah, like this is the flavor that I use and it's the one I've been using for a long time. Then I usually just get any Yardley like body spray from ShopRite. Yeah, these are my body spray. Then in terms of pads or sanitary, san <laughs> sanitary sanitary pads i like the brand cortex and yeah I, I usually get like one maxi and then one like thin one like two like per month <laughs> then yeah i also have <laughs> just some hand paper towels for cleaning up and stuff so that like wraps up like my cleaning materials so sometimes so for stuff like air freshener like i use air freshener late but i'm just too busy picking up to go and get it like i have like stocked up from previous months sorry like my neighbor has decided to sweep her yard or her backyard at, at noon there, okay, okay I, I personally don't sweep my yard but i'm like if you're going to sweep your yard like i'm not supposed to do it at the crack of dawn like at six like why are we sweeping yards at 12 anyway <laughs> oh oh my days you know what let me stop like it was brought to my attention that I need to stop throwing shade down to my neighbors. So this is like a different neighbor. The one I said was nosy. He's actually a very nice man. Like I didn't mean to like offend anyone. Like honestly, like he's really friendly, very helpful. I 
and I'm glad that he's very aware of the surroundings as opposed to like nobody would get too involved in the yard because he's like you know like hands on <laughs> like he's checking everything so we we all collectively appreciate that about him yeah so I just thought I should say that and now let me just clear this and then come back with like my food items oh so I had forgotten to mention two things so I don't get my body cream from ShopRite it's like a hundred and what like a hundred and something whereas I have a local Rwandi store that I go to like in, in Chongwe and they're 75 like they're really affordable and they're OG like they're OG so yeah this is what I use for like my body and shamefully my face as well I need to do better so yeah I use the Nivea cocoa butter body cream it's specifically like in the colder months and then if you if, ever if, if you are familiar with this um brand and line um the aloe vera one is is, is is really light so i tend to use that during the hot season and then for like the rest of the year i use the intensive moisture body cream one and yeah like it's <laughs> it serves me just fine so i i usually get the nivea invisible in, invisible like line thing it, it, it has like a black and white thing on the label like some of you know what i'm talking about that's what i usually use but they did have it in the in the shop they only had nivea roll-on for men and i wasn't about to <laughs> like turn around and go start looking for it in shorties or whatever like i was like it's fine i would just use the nivea men one and the like like men's roll-on or deodorant tends to last longer anyway so like i'm, I'm cool with using it so this was 75 in shop it's like 100 and something this is like I don't know, like 70 something sometimes in shop, right? Whereas this is 40 kwacha and it's OG, like it's like I trust that one in this store. So, yeah. Then, while I'm still on that particular store, I so I already have rice, but I just stocked up two packets. So, what I have, I think, will last me mid months. This is a brand called Mariana. It's quite nice, it mimics basmati rice. It doesn't really have much of a flavor, but like I tend to put like seasoning, it could be curry or just like a pilau masala spice. And this is only 12 kwacha. So like four of these is what, like 48 kwacha or two kgs. And like, it's more than enough for me. But yeah. So on the food section <laughs> of this haul, I'm going to refer to myself and also my household. But my household just pretty much being my housekeeper. But like, I'm like, like, I think we are all becoming our parents like we're all becoming our african parents like we understand now why they would complain about stuff finishing and people being reckless because i'm that person <laughs> i'm legit that person now i'm just like no like 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 you cannot be finishing things anyhow like. but yeah so there's me and then there's my household so this is um yeah rice for home like we both eat from that so this is my household's juice like one tends to be like enough so yeah there we go my household's juice um let me see what do you need to make my posters so in terms of okay like we call it relish but like meats and stuff um we i'm i'm still vegetarian but like i have guests sometimes and my household like isn't vegetarian so like she has to eat so i usually get her like one pack of sausage this must be Zambian, like, why would you be importing? Anyways, I have no idea, but it's just, like, I, I, I just get, like, a like a pack of sausage and a pack of mince, and then we have, like, beans from the market, sometimes some dry carpenter, and we also get two chickens from, like, a lady who sells, like, within the neighborhood, so that's, it, like, more than enough for her, <laughs> I believe, okay? Um... Then in terms of spreads, I've, I've grown to like canola. So I use this. Sometimes I will buy the I will buy the Ole brand or for my household. <laughs> and then I, I will use this for myself. But yeah, like this month, like I just got this one and like like, like, like we'll share. So this is the thing. Um like when I lived in Chisamba, I had a, I had a different housekeeper, like she was quite good with usage. This one isn't. So previously, I would buy like a huge jar of peanut butter or a huge jar of jam, and it would finish. Like even just with cooking oil, like I get to cooking oil, I'll get like the two point five liter of cooking oil, and 
it would finish in a really short period of time so i've found myself buying stuff in smaller quantities so that she's forced to just use it properly <laughs> i don't know if anybody can relate to this like it's always far more economical to buy stuff in bulk but yeah like i i, I have failed to supervise to adequately supervise my employee so i have to like manage her usage by buying stuff in small quantities so that she's forced to you know rush them properly because if this finishes mid-month like i'm not buying anything else and she also knows that I use some from it, so it shouldn't finish by the end of the month. So yeah, and like I said, like it's just the two of us. So this is a Zambian brand. It's called Fresh Pick. So this is like peanut butter, and then I also get jam. So this is just some strawberry jam. I actually have like a quick anecdote about peanut butter. There was a point in my life where I only bought yum yum. This is like pre dark ages of our economy. I'm talking like twenty. 16 2017 like i like i used to buy yum yum it was it was the only peanut butter that i liked but then it reached 80 quarter like like the big jar and i was just like forget that so i tried fresh pick and i actually like it it's kind of earthy i don't know if it's me just comforting myself but i i actually like i've grown to like fresh pick and i get the smooth one and it's fine like it's not entirely smooth it, it has some crunchiness to it but it's nice like i have made my peace with it and i like it yeah in fact, like, like I actually like joke with my brothers of how like there was a point again pre dark ages where, like I used to buy Nutella for myself. <laughs> like I'll buy Nutella; it was like my daily spread, and I have like I have not bought Nutella. Like, like I like I will go to shop right or pick up pay, like stand in front of the Nutella and like really think about whether I need to buy Nutella. <laughs> like it's like yeah, it's now above my tax bracket. Like it's a luxury. Nutella is a luxury for me now. Yeah. So, okay. okay, so my stuff was kind of just thrown into this bag, so let me just arrange it, and then like I'll explain everything. But for now, let, look, let me just take stuff out and then explain. Alrighty, so, in terms of what I use for like my protein and stuff, um, I have this soy mince. Is this Zambian? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Who is this made? Okay, but it's, it's not Zambian. But anyways, like this is, this is just the brand that I use. And I, I usually get this one, or this, the beef flavored one. So it's just soy mince. And then I also do soy pieces. Yeah. So I just get four. So this is the brand. This, like, this must be Zambia. Like, I'll be shocked if it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> Here we go. Zambian brand. Yeah. Um, the, there, were, there was a time, like, when I, when I did my vegan thing, because I, I was vegan initially when I began that whole, this whole vegetarian thing. I was vegan for three months, and I would buy vegan sausages. There were, like, vegan patties and stuff like that. But I don't know, like... I've kind of adjusted to my vegetarian routine. I added eggs back after a year of being like fully vegetarian because I wasn't eating eggs at all. I also wasn't eating dairy. So but I, was, <laughs> I would eat dairy once in a while, like in the form of cheese on like pizza or in pasta. And I would also eat cake. So that's why like I was only vegan for three months. Like, I'll eat cake which had like eggs in it and milk, but like eating like a, a, like frying an egg or grilling an egg, like I, I wasn't eating that exclusively. But yeah, after one year, so like October of 2021, I added eggs and like just like full on dairy, like, you know, like I wasn't pretending like and, and everything. I, I, I added it back to my diet. So it lessened my need to buy like vegan alternative meat stuff. Like I don't even like them that much. Like I'm cool with soy pieces and I eat a lot of beans. Like my Bemba self loves beans. So I just alternate between beans, soy pieces, soy mince and eggs. And like I'm cool. But once in a while, yes, like I will get myself um, like some vegan sausages. Yeah. So next, um, I have our trusty Royco. Royco is Zambian, isn't it? Like it must be Zambian. <gasps> it's like I was so sure. It's under Unilever. Hey, boo. Uh -uh, no making noise if you're here. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I thought Royco was Zambian, but there we go. Royco, this is like a. Somebody help me out in the comments to like explain what Royco is to people in the West. But like we use it in everything, especially stews. Not 
not soups, but like gravies and stews. Like this is like, yeah, we love this stuff. And there's anyone who is in Zambia who's watching this, like if you're like Kenyan or South African, let me know if you guys are into Royco as well. Then I have pasta. So I'm not really a pasta snob. And this is like affordable. So I like this brand. Like it, like it does the job. I know it's not Zambian. Yeah, it's Namibian. So yeah, I, I just have some macaroni. actually is then spaghetti <laughs> i picked it up thinking it was spaghetti but it's fine but it's still pasta so i i usually get two parts and just like a like like, like a quick a quick <laughs> a quick detour i don't really eat like a, a lot of home cooked meals during the week like i have breakfast from work go away go away sorry she's like licking her fresh carpenter um I, yeah, so I eat breakfast from work and like 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 we just buy fritas and scones, I know quite unhealthy. And then sometimes like I'll do fruit and yogurt like for myself. And then lunch, there's a takeaway place. So if you watch my I think two blogs ago, I, I mentioned like this restaurant in our hood. So that's where we all buy like our lunch from. It's really cheap. So I do in Shima like sometimes, sometimes I'll do fries. So throughout the week I'm eating lunch from work. And then for dinner, I like I rarely eat that much. So even just like the starches and things that I get. Like, like it's mostly for my for my household if you, if you get what i mean so two packs like i if i'm going to do pasta like maybe it could be during the weekend like you know like if i'm home so that's why like, i only have two packs and i only maybe even use like half a pack and it last me like maybe three meals so yeah there's that then in terms of cooking oil it's only a zambian oh thank goodness there we go Z zambian brand so my household uses ole and I usually get her too, but we have like one, like it's almost like three quarters left over. So she uses this and it's supposed to ration it. And then I have extra virgin olive oil that I prefer like for me. <laughs> but yeah, that again, like I still have, like it lasts a really long time. Cause like I said, like I rarely cook. Yeah. And then sometimes there'll be evenings where like I'm feeling lazy and my brother's actually got me on like, like I was never really like, like a noodles person I, I prefer like a, like a proper pasta dish but my brothers came to visit one time and they were really like they asked me to get the noodles and like they got me on to noodles and I understand like I understand it now it's something that I can make really really quickly it, it should take me like five minutes and I'll probably just do like some boiled eggs on the side and like like I'll be filled up if I want to eat something in the evening but I rarely eat supper like I'll just do like a sandwich or something or mostly snacks <laughs> but yeah so even with this like it's like i rarely do it but just once in a while like i really just like to have noodles on board so this is a zambian brand i know and it's called easy noodles um yeah i think i'm almost done i just have some salt this is probably zambian as well it's south african <laughs> You know, I, I take for granted how many things are in Zambian brands. Like, like even this brand, like, everybody uses it. I, I just assumed it was Zambian. But, yeah. What's it called? Cerebos iodated sea salt. Then I have my juice. <laughs> so there's my household's juice. And then I just use rose juices. Like, gone are the days when I used to buy series for myself. Like, isn't series, like, 37 of... Like, like I haven't bought series juice in maybe even over a year. Like I like like I don't know what's going on with that brand. Or maybe like it's just I don't know. I don't know. But Rhodes juice are the plug. Absolutely. Yeah, like the juices are like are just fine. And yeah, like they have hella flavors and I think they're affordable. How much are they now compared to C? Let me just check maybe. I think they're usually like 27, somewhere like there. Yeah, so they're 27.99. So this again with the economy like i use like one a week and, and and like i'll ration it up like i'll put it in a glass like maybe like 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 in the evening or something so this, this is this is like four to five glasses and yeah like that's my juice for the month mm -hmm. then oh here we go zambian brand so i used to get like I, I cannot believe i used to use pamela yogurt like i'm just like oh like a shock and horror I like I've always like solar zam beef or zam milk, but then this is the zam milk double cream. I really hope you can see what I'm doing, because I can see unfortunately because I don't have a sensible camera. But 
my friend like asked me to get her this i was like oh like like i didn't even notice it like i'll just ignore it and i'll buy pamalad oh <laughs> but yeah I actually like Greek yogurt, so the, I, I've just forgotten the Greek, the brand of the Greek yogurt that I usually get. But yeah, but it's not like a Zam milk product. So I'll, I'll get that, and then if I wanted flavored yogurt, I'll get Pamalat. But my friend like put me onto this, and it's really good. So the double cream ones, like the black rubber with the Zam milk, they have really nice, like rich flavors. And like, so this one is strawberries and cream, and then this one is blueberries, like blueberry yogurt. Like they even have like bits in there, like like actual strawberries and actual blueberries. Like it's just really really nice. So like in terms of snacking, like yeah, so like in the evenings, like if I'm not eating supper or something, like I like to just do yogurt, like a bowl of yogurt with some apples or bananas. But like, but I just got apples. So I also get apples from the market. But then once in a while, like if I'm in shop right and I see like a, like like a bag of apples, like I'll like, like I'll just buy it from there. So yeah. That's what I tend to snack on. And then I also got myself some honey. In terms of um, like sugar, so like sugar, I I, 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 I still use um, soy milk, like soy milk or almond milk just depends. Like ever since I went vegetarian, even though I, I, can, I, can, I can consume dairy, I've just gotten used to using soy milk. So sugars like teas, um, cereals like i already have from last month so i didn't have to buy this month if that makes sense you know like we're on a budget here <laughs> so i don't get stuff like every single month like if i got enough and i didn't finish it but that's what i tend to buy so in terms of cereals i love jungle oats i either eat jungle oats or wheat bakes like i'm an oats person like like i like that you know type of cereal and then once in a while I'll buy myself all brand cereal, but even all brand is like you guys like 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 I stand in front of it and I question it. I'm like, do I really want to buy this? But most of the time, like I always have wheat bix and jungle oats on board. But in terms of just like you know, snacky snacks. Um, oh, so I, I mentioned honey. Honey, I, I buy every month because like I I go through it a lot. I prefer honey with my tea because I drink herbal tea. Yeah. Then I just have like some light snacks to like pick on here and there. I love Oreos. Like I'm sorry, but when it comes to snacks, <laughs> I failed to pick the Zambian brands. Like I love Oreos and I also like cheddars. Yeah, so I just have like yeah, it's like a few miscellaneous snacks. So in terms of like cookies or biscuits, I really like Oreos. Sometimes I get romantic creams, but I wasn't about to buy everything just for the sake of content. Like I'm actually showing you a realistic haul of stuff I actually get. So I have some Oreos here, and it's, instead of getting like like a big pack, which is cheaper, this is the thing. Like like, like I failed to control myself. <laughs> if I get a big box of Oreos, like I will eat the whole thing in one night. But if I get these small individual ones, like I know I'm just eating this in, in one night, and that's better for me. Yeah, and then I also got some cheddars. Yeah, I just get like a, like a, an assorted you know amount of cheddars, and then even with Oreos, like I actually like so I only have the original ones with me, but I do not mind the vanilla. Is it's either custard or vanilla, and then, and the chocolate flavor as well of the Oreos. Like like I, like I don't mind them. Like I'm not like a snob like that. Oh, then I just got like some water, some bottled water because I'm going out of town tomorrow. Yeah, but it's been added to my list because it's money that I've spent. But but I I I want to buy a dispenser. Like I've like I've been debating it for years. I know I should get a dispenser. By the way, people in the West, a dispenser for you guys is called a water cooler. Like I'm supposed to get a water cooler, but like like I've lived this long without one, so I don't know how cost that bridge when I get there. Is there anything else that I haven't shown? No. Oh, so <laughs> I will pause here and then just give you like a total of how much like the food stuff and the cleaning materials was so it was one so like i'm 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 deducting one thing because i realized when i was like at the tea i was like wait, wait like i need to remove my cat stuff because most people don't have pets and it, it, it would like distort you know <laughs> what my actual bill is so i think i spent about 1550 on like cleaning materials food for like you know like the month and then during the week i would do grocery runs i bought chickens like on a separate bill and, and stuff like that oh and then i also get eggs so by the way if you're, if you're ever in jongwe or passing through jongwe go to novatech like their eggs like a tray of eggs it used to be 47 for a really really long time but this month like when i was going this month it was 49 for a tray and 
Bape, it was 47 kwacha per tree. Bape egg trees were like 60 kwacha per tree, like in Osaka or just in stores. So yeah, and it's like nice big fresh egg. So yeah, if ever in Chongwe, I'm not sure about the Novatex in, in other towns or other cities, but like yeah, the Novatex in my hood, I get a tray of eggs for 47. So there's also that cost that you can just factor in. So I've, I have these other miscellaneous things that I spend money on. Oh, chickens were between 85 and 90 per chicken. So two extra ones as well. So yeah, just like a general general idea. It's like maybe like two grand, like two grand thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So that like this wraps up like my general household thing. And then I'll pause and just show you like the last stuff, which is like my, my cat things for the people who have pets or who care <laughs> to see. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. So maybe there as well. So I usually get 10 kgs and it lasts like a, like a month and a half. So we get this like every other month. Yeah. And again, like I, like I don't even get to like eat in Shinar from home because I eat it like from the place at work. But yeah, so it's for my household. Alrighty, so last batch is my children's food. Oh, it's actually defrosted slightly so they eat a mixture of um fresh carpenter which i just, which I just boil for them and like tinned food so yeah literally i buy it from anywhere i just happen to get some from shop right so i have this and then i get this brand it's a very generic brand but they seem to like it and i'm also not rich so they <laughs> they have no choice so it's called Top Cut, and I just get, there was a time when I'll get like, so I, I, I could get like, like a case of six, but like I'll just ask like one of the attendants in the in shop, right, to like bring me like a six case. But yeah, like I now mix it with Capenta because yeah, like this is like very soft food. And I wanted to just give them something like a bit earthy. So this, this brand has, it has a, a fish flavor, a beef flavor and a chicken flavor yeah so when i was there today like they only they had they had only this is like the last fish one and they really like the fish one yeah like my cats really like the fish one so it's only have one left so i got most of the other stuff and there's one which i opened and fed them then from the peckies brand like this is more pricey so like th there was one month like I was feeling rich and I got them like chicken flavored like a beef flavored or something or salmon flavored and they didn't like it. <laughs> My cats didn't like it. I was like, you know what? Thank you, thank you for not being too bougie and like getting acclimated to the bougie stuff. So the only flavor they liked is lamb. Yeah, if they had like the big can like this, I I would have gotten like the big one, but but they only had the the smaller tin. So. This is the one that they really enjoy from Peckies, like the just the lamb flavor. So yeah, just two of these and oh, and then there's also the the cat litter. So this is the brand that I use, and again, like cats are picky, and I'm glad that my cat likes this one. Like before, like I would use sand, but then I moved houses because like the house where I lived, like sand, like there was sand everywhere. But where I moved, like it's paved everywhere. We, we don't really. We don't even have a garden, like it's yeah, like the whole yard is paved. It's like a small patch of grass, like where we hang like our clothes and everything. So like I, I, I couldn't be that cheap skate who was using sand anymore. So I, I buy cat litter and I'm actually glad that I was supposed to get cat litter because I prefer it. It lasts longer and it takes away from that like you know, like cat piss fragrant fragrance. Or well, not, not even fragrance, odor, please. Like that's an odor, it's not a fragrance, it's an odor. So I like this and I clean like their litter box every day and then i replace it once a week and like it's fine like it's still sanitary and everything it's antibacterial so it helps them out as well so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah let me not keep you much longer i just saw how long my previous clip was it was like about 23 minutes meaning this video is like an, an hour and a half so i think with this one i will be shameless like i will upload an hour long video and then like you like you cut and jump off in fact if you reach this far wow <laughs> but i know most people won't get this far but it's okay it's okay like it was just a grocery haul some people care about these things and yeah i honestly hope you enjoyed it oh my days it's my 
did I leave this whole door open exposing my kitchen? <laughs> like I was trying to hide my background and my messy life. Like I've just realized this door was open. What can you see? Anyways, but yeah, thank you for watching and <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye.